All right, another contender in the niche low-profile mechanical keyboard world. This is the Cascade by ACO, a new 75% keyboard that's offered in a regular and slim profile, and the latter rivals with some of the best keyboards in that space at the moment. I gave a lot of praise to NewFi's airline of keyboards while reviewing it, and I want to know how the Cascade Slim compares. Let's see. The unboxing experience is quite usual. The keyboard comes in a black box with minimal branding, and apart from the keyboard itself, you also get a USB-C cable, a Type-A to Type-C USB adapter, and a keycap and switch puller combo tool. The Cascade is offered in two colors, Space Gray as shown here, or Bronze and with two keycap theme options. It's worth noting that this is an early unit and the keycaps will have green accented keys instead of gray like this unit. And personally, I think the green variant looks better. The top of the case is full aluminum, making it heavier than typical low profile boards. The bottom on the other hand is plastic, but it's barely visible. Under the keyboard is also where the feet are located with two sets of feet for triangle options. Then at the back, you will find two toggle buttons to alternate between the Windows and Mac layouts and to pick between wired and Bluetooth connectivity modes. So this is a relatively standard 75% layout with dedicated arrow keys and a function row. All the keys are jammed together and as expected, the right shift key and right modifier keys are a bit narrower to fit this layout. The keycaps are uniform across rows, so no sculptured profile, and they're thinner than typical keycaps to keep the low profile look. These have shine through legends, and these are actually laser etched, not double shot, with only a top coat for the color. So this means that they will shine eventually and legends may fade as the translucent plastic shows up when the top coat wears out. This is a bit unfortunate, and here double shot or die sublimated keycaps would be preferable for improved durability. But under those keycaps, hide the switches, which are browns in my case. Reds and blues are also available. These are Gatteron low profile switches, pretty standard stuff, as there's not a lot of options in the low profile segment of switches. They're quite tactile given the shorter travel and feel right for this kind of keyboard. These are hot swap too, so that's great if a switch breaks or if you want to try something else. As for the stabilizers, they seem Cherry MX compatible, but they don't align with the switches, so regular keycaps won't fit, only the ones included will. They're factory tuned and sound pretty decent out of the box. The keyboard also has some dampening foam in it, so that likely helps with the sound. The Cascade Slim comes with RGB LEDs under each key with a bunch of preset animations and light modes. The brightness and speed can be adjusted, and the color of each animation can also be changed from solid colors to a rainbow gradient. There is no per key color configuration, nor custom gradients, but you do get basic controls. Now to the connectivity options, this keyboard can be used wired or via Bluetooth with up to three devices. As for power management, the lights turn off after a few minutes of inactivity and the keyboard goes to sleep after an hour, which is a pretty good threshold in my opinion to not get disconnected all the time while working. I have tested the keyboard mostly wired at work, so I can't comment on the battery life, but it having a 2000 mAh battery should give decent battery life, especially with LEDs off. And finally, the latency was very acceptable from my own tests with my iPad. So what we have here is a pretty good low profile mechanical keyboard. The case feels nice, the typing experience is great, and it has one of the best sound out of the pre-built low profile mechs that I've tried. What I don't like are the laser etched keycaps that will wear off over time and the non-standard stabilizers, which makes replacing keycaps unlikely. 
And this is why I personally prefer NewFi's airline of keyboards, as they feature standard stabs and PBT die sublimated keycaps. They also have optional carrying cases, which work well, side LED strips, and 2.4 GHz wireless support with a dongle for an even more stable connection than Bluetooth. I still think the Cascade Slim is a great keyboard, especially if you prefer how it looks or the design of its case and flip out feet, or if you want a more dampened sound. So that's it for me today. I'll have a link to the Kickstarter down below. Feel free to check it out and see you in the next video.